Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video in the iWish series, a series in which I buy things off Wish to see if they're any good or not, and most of the time they're pretty terrible, but hey, you never know, I'm optimistic about this one because you remember those bow sunglasses? Bows? Boss? Boss? Bows? Bows? This here, bows? Boss? I don't know. Uh, the bone conduction sunglasses, you put these sunglasses on your head and it plays music through your skull and vibrates and stuff, I've never really tested them or researched them or anything like that, I wanted a pair of them, but I never got a pair of them, and I should have got a pair of them, but I don't have a pair of them, so I went on Wish to see if I could get a pair of them, and I've got these right here. That was a very long-winded intro, but it's going to keep going. But anywho, I found these 2023 in one music glasses, polarized sunglasses, Bluetooth, bone conduction, headset, speaker, stereo, smart glass. Just ends there, smart glass, but okay. Uh, for $31 plus $16 shipping, but I used a discount code and got it for about $43 Australian, so about $30 US or thereabouts. But these are, uh, these are something special. According to Wish, they're something special anyways. Straight off the bat, we've got 4 out of 5 stars with 20 reviews, and people seem to be pretty happy with them, so that, that's a good thing. Uh, you can get it in a multitude of colours if you wanted to. If you wanted to, I chose black because I'm very plain and dull. Yeah, the pictures have smart music glasses, Bluetooth 5.0 sunglasses, and the photo shows a guy driving around with his sunglasses on. I don't even think they're the same glasses, to be fairly honest. Okay, and then we've got music coming out of them, Bluetooth 5.0, easy control, microphone, call cool function, speaker, and resist glare. That's usually what sunglasses are meant to do, but anywho. And then we've got another picture, Bluetooth 5.0, music glasses with exactly the same thing, except it's a woman who's driving around or something like that, and she's pretty happy, and I don't even think they're the same glasses either, but anywho. Uh, you get to see what everything comes with, just there as well. All the colours, like I said before, they are IPX7 waterproof, not afraid, outdoor, raining when you're riding. Okay, sure thing. Uh, I wouldn't trust these to be anything close to being waterproof. One drop of water would probably kill them. I've got this picture of a guy on a bike with the, gl <laughs> with the glasses photoshopped on him. It's so obvious, you can see it. It's so obvious. Here, look, have a zoom. There you go. You, can you see it now? clearly photoshopped. I wonder what the original image looked like. But yeah, uh, he, he's he's having a good time. Uh, block the sunlight, blocking the violent sun while driving. Reducing traffic accidents. Jesus. Okay. So next time I'm driving around, I'm going to yell at the sun and go, you violent fuck. All right, that makes complete sense. Yep. Uh, external sound channel, open audio music and phone call experience, a 200 milliamp hour battery, three to four hours of music time, four to five hours of call time, two to three hours of charging time, charging voltage, five volts. Yes. And it also says it comes with earphones. Well, with earphone, just one. That's an Ashen's joke. Bless his soul. In-ear earphone give you a better music experience. So... I've already done the unboxing for this already, and I found the earphones in there and went, they didn't come in the listing, that's a bunch of bull. Uh, well, it turns out they actually do come with it. So, yeah, my bad, whoops. Uh, we've got all the product details about the buttons and all that sort of thing, the external speakers and all that sort of thing. They're not bone conducting, I'll tell you that. They only say bone conducting in the actual listing title, but nowhere else. So I think it's just one of those things to say, hey, buy it because you think you're going to get something good, but you're not. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0, connect to your phone to play music or answer the phone. Of course you can, because that's what they do. The zero degree polarization, and it shows all the lenses that probably doesn't apply. That's okay. Product size is all about there and it's about right, and the actual stuff that it comes with. The box is different to the one I received, but it's basically the exact same thing. And as well, the description of the product just says what it comes with, all the details of the sunglasses and what they do and all that sort of stuff. Well, we're going to test all that anyways. I highly doubt that it's going to be any good, but hey, you never know. All right, with a shipping time of just over about a month and a half, I have this here, which is sunglasses value $5.91 from China, except it went to Germany. I have no idea, but it's on the back that it's got a German post label on it, so I have no idea where this actually came from, to be fairly honest. I think it went to China, then to Germany, then to Australia. Maybe explaining the whole month and a half. I have no idea. Anyways, you've seen the listing, you know what's going on. Let's open this up and see what I get, because honestly, it's um <laughs> not feeling too good in there. Alright, chopping through the garbage bag. I have made a somewhat terrible hole to get inside. It's fine. It's good. The box is absolutely crushed to hell. <laughs> I don't even think this is going to work. If they are in one piece, I don't know. But um, that's uh, that's that's what you get. 
Thanks, Wish, for actually putting some bubble wrap around it. That would have been absolutely lovely, but pff, we don't need bubble wrap. It's perfectly fine. Not that they would have saved it from whoever decided to stomp on this thing. Smart glasses. I hope they don't look like that because I didn't choose aviator ones. Okay, cold music and sports. Goody. Sound is life. There we go. Just fix the box a little bit. That looks something like a box. Okay. Uh, made in China with something or other there. Uh, oh, actually, they're in a case. We might be okay. They're in a case. All right, that's kind of all right-ish. Uh, yep, something just fell out of it. That's okay. Everything's good. Features light, comfortable, safe, convenient, and fashionable design. Precedent, flexible design, and ergonomic frame design that it will not squeeze your head or fall. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? Precedent, flexible design, ergo and ergonomic frame design that it will not squeeze your head or fall off. Okay, now that's, uh, that's going a little too far now if my head falls off, but all right. Sophisticated polarized lens can effectively protect your eyes from ultraviolet radiation. It will be made you see much clearer when you, we, are it under the sun. It can play stereophonic music. It can also telephone. I'm glad it can telephone. Using Bluetooth Hi-Fi stereo earphone design bring you new music listening experience. Microphone, calls, sound, sun, glasses with a thumbs up, he's happy. All right. So, um, you kind of get the idea of what's going on with these 30 odd dollar Bluetooth glasses. I'm glad they came in a case, or else... Is that... Oh, instruction manual. Or else they would have been absolutely dead. By the looks of this box, if they weren't in a case, they would have been DOA, for sure. Absolutely. Alright, see you later. Sorry, I looked back over the footage while editing, and I didn't show all of the box. Scope of application with people running and riding bike and hiking and playing in golf because that's what these glasses are used for there's also some serial numbers and stuff going on there but scope of application yep and then on the other side is sound is life well yes 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 god there's just stuff all over my desk now Ugh. Don't know why I used the instruction manual to do that. Um, so we get a micro USB cable in some cheap plastic. I don't know what was in this one, though. It's probably fallen out. Maybe Customs opened it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's a very dusty micro USB cable there. That's not going to be really any help to us. And we have these smart Bluetooth glasses here with all of the instructions. It comes with the Bluetooth sunglasses, stereo headset, a spectacle case, cleaning cloth, USB charging cable, and user manual. That seems about right. Um, all of these specifications just there if you want to pause and have a look at them. They basically say that it's got 200 milliamp hours for the battery. I don't expect these to last more than two hours. I just bought these for a novelty, because why not? Um, operation, modulation. There's a warranty card. So if it doesn't work, you could just replace it. And it's just Chinese in the back. Alrighty. I'm very optimistic about what's going to happen. Is there a zipper? Yes, there is. There's a zipper to open this up. Here we go. Is it going to be crushed? What? There's earphones actually in here. Why is there earphones? They didn't say that on the listing, I don't think. I thought these are supposed to be the Bose sunglass. Ah. Uh... Oh, maybe they are. Because there's a little, like vents there but uh they're the glasses that i bought they feel extremely cheap and feel very brittle but yeah there's buttons on there micro usb got a couple of volume up buttons and a power on button i'd say let's see if it's actually got power uh which one is power this one's power i think they're dead but like that's where your ear would be so that would make sense but then, if it comes with these, then that doesn't make any sense. But the listing doesn't show that that's what it does. They're bone conduction polarized ones. Bone conduction. Which means quality. Will this blow up if I plug it in? Does it have an LED? Oh, they vibrated. I think they vibrated. Why do they smell like they're burning? Oh, they smell like they're burning. That's alright, I'll just keep them plugged in, that's fine. They can catch on fire, I don't mind. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. It's charging. It's doing its thing. It's doing something. I've searched up with Bluetooth to see if I can find these. It's still red. Just a red LED. So I don't think they're at the pairing process just yet. This is why I don't like Bluetooth things. I'd rather just wired stuff, but these were so gimmicky I just had to buy them. 
So it actually has been a couple of weeks since I unboxed this and all that sort of thing, and they've just been sitting around just gathering dust. So I figured it's finally time to test these out. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Um, so I'm going to pair them up with an iPhone, because technology is wonderful. Currently it's 3.49 a.m. It's 3.50 a.m. now, and there's a blinking light on the top. That's an infrared one or something for the face ID. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. So I'm going to be using this for Bluetooth. I've loaded up with some Doom music and all that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and um, switch these on. So we're going to do this. <laughs> you got to hear that? Hang on. Power off. Power on. I've got it paired with my Oppo Reno 5G, but I want to pair it with my XS Max, so this is what it does when you um, disconnect it. Dicknet. I'm pretty sure that said Dicknet, but fair enough. Well, there they are there, A12, so we'll go ahead and connect them. There we go. Okay, we have them connected. All right, does it reflect the sun? Oh, it does have some sort of polarization going on there. You can clearly see it there. So these might be all right to wear outside and protect your eyes from the glaring sun. Maybe. Who knows? My iPhone is completely full of the Doom soundtrack, so I'm just going to go ahead and play BFG Division, because why not? I will splice in audio coming straight from the glasses, but I'll just test it for myself first. So I'm putting them on. I can hear things. It honestly just feels like there's speakers above my ears, which I guess that's the whole point of these, but I don't think they're going to be bone conducting. Bone conducting, as they say. I can definitely see all the different colours on the iPhone, though. The lenses do have some sort of things going for it. So pressing the up button goes next, and then pressing the down button goes back. Then holding it raises the volume. There we go. You just see the little volume bar. So I'll pump this up to about full. Oh god, there's like zero bass. Uh, definitely not coming through my skull. No. It just feels like there's tin cans above my ears. That's what it feels like. Oh, God. Okay, half volume doesn't sound terribly bad. Still terrible, but it doesn't sound terribly bad. That makes complete sense. Okay, now I can see now. Um, yeah, okay, so it's half reasonable. Does play, does work, okay. But they're definitely not bone conducting, number one. They seem to vibrate when it connects. Otherwise, playing doesn't vibrate. So I will tear these down and have a look and see if there's any like vibration motors or anything in the arms of these or not. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart because it'll be just a couple of wires running across here. So I just want to take these ones off and see what they are. But are these glasses comfortable? Yes. Do they play music? Yes. Are they of shocking quality? Yes. But they are somewhat usable. And this is what they look like on me, by the way. It's currently completely frozen outside, so I'll just wear the glasses inside. So that's what they look like. There you go. It's good enough, I guess. Which honestly, they don't look too bad. They're just a pair of sort of, you know, generic -y sunglasses. And it's just strange that the box had aviators on it, but you know, this is what it comes with, probably reused for something. But otherwise, while this was obviously bought off Wish, you can find this on Joom, Amazon, all that sort of thing. You can find this product basically anywhere where they sell cheap garbage. And more these are basically $40 sunglasses with speakers built into them. You can buy more expensive ones that are about $100 that actually say they do bone conducting. So I wonder if what the insides of them would look like if they'd be exactly the same as these or if they'd be any different. I'm not too sure. We're going to jump onto the speaker test with these. I'll just play, I'll just sort of do this and do that sort of thing and play music, and then I'll splice it in for you all, and you can have a listen to the wonderful sounds that these sunglasses produce, and all the dust that's gathered on these.
Okay, so that was all recorded at 75% volume, so I hope you get the rough idea, but just playing it, you just sort of feel the feedback from the speakers, that's really it. The last thing that I do want to check is them. These actually defeat the whole purpose of having these, because these have got the built-in speakers and their sunglasses, but then when you've got these attached to the sunglasses, then you just, no, just wear Bluetooth earphones, why not? Or just... Yeah, sure. Okay, so if we connect these up, so then if I plug these in my ears, are these somewhat better sound quality? Nope, 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 absolutely not. Holy moly. Nope, they can be destroyed, that's fine. They're very cheap, dull tin cans. So I would stick to the actual speakers built on this. So in regards to having those earphones as well, picture this scenario. You're sitting on a bus and you've got these sunglasses on listening to music. Now, with those earphones in, no one can hear what you're listening to. I mean, they're terrible earphones, so people probably will. If you've just got these casually on your head listening to music, people can hear you. People can hear what's going on. It's not conducting through your skull or anything like that. It's literally just playing them from the speakers inside of these, and that's it. It's not really practical, really. It's just sunglasses with a couple of speakers bolted onto it. I don't really know what to say, honestly, about these. They are very gimmicky, very novelty. They're not bone conducting as they... Just said I've only once in a listing, so I will give it that. It's not quite bone conducting. But the speakers are very cheap. I don't think standby would be fantastic. I'll splice in a little note here to let you know the standby times, which I can only imagine what they'd be. And with all that being said and done, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these. Or just switch them off. That'll work. Let me go ahead and take out the couple of screws. Holding these together, and we can see what the uh, insides look like. I'll probably start with this side, to be honest. We still have not found a good product from Wish yet. We've come close. Well, I say that. <laughs> but we just haven't quite got there yet, so... Maybe soon there'll be something good off Wish. Or something like that. Maybe one day. Oh dear lord, okay. Um, well there you go, that's it there. <laughs> so, pretty much what's going on here is they've got a speaker from a phone, like a loudspeaker, and they've just chucked it in there and went, that's good man, it'll do, no one will tell, and that's it, to be honest. <laughs> if we just slightly pry this up, just slightly, there we go, okay, so there's no battery on that side, it's just all that just there, so that's fair enough, so I'll put that back in there, because that's as good as I'm going to see with that. Does it all click back in? Please click back in. There we go, that's good enough. So I'll put this side back on so then we don't have anything happening. Is this the battery location? I wonder. There we go. And there's our battery. It's a 210 milliamp hour battery in here. 10 more milliamps than they actually advertised. So that's good. But otherwise, just a cheap phone speaker. Still in there. That little battery and a couple of little circuits just in there, probably for the microphone as well, which I didn't test either. I'll do a microphone test as well. So I'm also just going to record a sound clip with the sunglasses and play them back on the iPhone. You should get a fair idea of what's going on, so here we go. Okay, so I'll put them on. And we are testing the microphone quality on the bone conducting Wish sunglass thingamajiggies, and hopefully this is doing something good. Uh, testing the microphone quality on the bone conducting Wish sunglass thingamajiggies, and hopefully this is doing something good. Well, the actual built-in microphone isn't half bad, to be fairly honest. So that's good. You can use this for calls and walk around talking to your sunglasses. That's perfectly fine. All right, well, that's going to do it for these smart music glasses things off Wish. Honestly, you'd be better off just wearing a cheap pair of sunglasses and having a pair of wireless earphones in your ears. It's probably a lot better than doing this, to be fairly honest. But, hey... It's your choice, do what you want, but look, if you want me to have a look at the more expensive ones, let me know down in the comments, and if you would like me to exclusively have a look at something off Wish or Amazon or something like that, let me know down in the comments as well, and I may have a look at it, just to see how bad it is, but I love doing this sort of stuff, it's quite fun, but no, I just seen these and thought it'd be a cool gimmick to have a look at, and also if you have the Bose or Boss, whatever, sunglasses that actually do the bone conduction stuff, let me know down in the comments as well because I really want to know if it's worth investing in a pair or not. Probably not, but you never know. But anyways, I think that's everything. I think I've tested and shown everything I need to. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And as per usual, I'm working on a bunch of projects, just a matter of getting around to them. But hopefully I'll work through them very soon. Um, so stay tuned, take care, stay safe, be good people, and I'll see you in the next one.
If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.